All right, guys, let's go through this new build. Trust me, it's sick. All right, so let's just get... All right. So, as you can see, my armor pen is extremely high. Um, now, there's, there's a couple of reasons... I, all you really need to know is a high, super high armor pen is extremely good for late game. Um, this pretty much makes it so whoever I'm trying to fight, I'll be able to kill them. I have no problem taking down paladins since I've done this. I've, I've fought multiple 18k plus paladins that were um, maybe not completely specced for PvP, but they were 18k tanks, you know what I mean? Um, I fought a couple of them here in Dwarven Valley, so they had their companions out and everything. Melted them. One rotated them. Um, so let's go through this. Um, as you can see, 32k power. Now once I get into PvP, um, and you start hitting me and we start fighting, this is going to easily go up to over 40k. Uh, so we'll have 40k power, 20k armor pen. We'll be able to melt anybody we need to. Um, combat advantage bonus. This is something I see people overlooking. It's very important. You're going to want to, wherever you can, you're going to want to put it in. Kessel Sphere is excellent just for that reason. Uh, I would highly recommend using Kessel Sphere and the uh, Great Weapon Fighter artifact. You can choose between Baphomet set and um, the Valhalla set. They're kind of, it's kind of a big difference. If I switch to just to this, my armor class goes up to 40. And um, the active of this uh, reduces people's damage when they hit my shield. And since I run a lot of uh, stamina, which you will see in the build, you have plenty of time to build up your uh, everything you need. As people hit you, it incre decreases their damage, it increases your damage, etc, etc. 10k deflect, you don't really need a whole lot of defense. You just want to use your defense boon. You don't have to build defense anywhere. Um, I see some people rocking, you know, 18,000 defense, something like that. You don't need all that. 13,000, 14,000, that's fine. Uh, stamina gain. That just comes pretty much from the boons. Incoming healing bonus. Uh, this could be higher. However, um, you don't really want it much lower at all, to be honest. Because the healing, even though uh, they decreased the healing, this mod, it, for most people, means don't build any healing at all since it's, you know, borderline no healing, right? But... You kind of want to have an opposite approach to it. You want to build more heals. So that way you can out-sustain your opponents. Because since most people don't have really any sustain. Having at least a decent amount of sustain will go a long way in combat this mod. Uh, as you can see my resistance ignored is up to 150%. Crit chance. You know that's one in every. More than one in every five hits is going to crit. Technically. Um, recharge speed. This could go up. A little bit more um, but I, I sacrificed a little bit of recovery I could I could easily just take a recovery pot or whatever and just be fine switch an artifact or something um, no life steal chance barely you don't really need to build life steal um, so let's go through the ability scores for this build it's full strength full charisma um, a little birdie told me Use strength over uh, dexterity. I was I was um, swapping between dexterity and strength, just trying to test some stuff out. So this is working out nicely. Let's go through all my utilities are obviously darks for movement speed. My defense are silveries. Not all of them are silveries. Most of them are silveries. Um, some of them are radiance. Once you hit 10k deflect. You don't really need to build a whole lot more deflect than that, to be honest. 10k is fine. Because if I look, um, my deflect chance is 
32%, which is great, you know, especially for Iron Vanguard, that's fine. That's that's more than one in every three hits is going to get deflected, so that's kind of a big deal. Um, so you might be you might be thinking, how the hell, you know, maybe your Guardian Fighter's, you know, running like 28,000 power, 30,000 power maybe, and then you got like 10k, 12k armor pen. Let's go through this. Um... Offense slots. I threw darks in my offense slots. Um, people just don't do that anymore for some reason. I don't see a lot of people. They just put uh, power or power and recovery or whatever. Um, don't be afraid to throw a couple dark enchantments into your offense slots. It goes a long way. Uh, especially when you're using these mount bonus uh, insignias. You, you're going to want... This, this increases uh, your power, your recovery, your armor pen, your crit strike, your defense, your deflection, your regen, and your lifesteal whenever you use a uh, mount combat power. So that along with Assassin's Covenant, which you lose 10% of your defense, deflect, and lifesteal and gain the combination of those lost stats as power. So when I use a, uh, a mount, not only does it just static increase my power by 10% um, and all of these but my def defense deflection um, and my lifesteal those get uh, part of them get sucked out and just converted right into power so when I use uh, amount in combat I get a lot of power from that um, using this much deflect you know one in three hits you're gonna you're gonna heal me so if I'm fighting a scourge warlock and uh, she doesn't have a whole lot of armor pen, and she can't do a whole lot of damage, she's probably going to heal me, because uh, there is no cooldown, really, on this. It's not like, you know, um, you know, I can only proc once every 30 seconds or something like that. Like, you'll be constantly getting heals from this. Gladiator's Ghoul, I see a lot of people not running this. I can't emphasize the importance of this enough. When you are above 75% of your stamina, which you should be running this build pretty much all the time, um, you run 15% faster. That's a big deal. Like that. That's 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 a big deal. Um, when your stamina is is lower than 25%, you gain 15% of your power as stamina gain. So you, when you have low stamina, you gain more stamina. When you have high stamina, you move faster. So there's no cooldown on this at all. It's just always working in your favor one way or the other. Um, and while at full action points, gain a percentage of your armor pen as power. So right now my power is 32,298. Let's see what this goes up to. Bam! 2k power right there. Look at that. So, you know, there are things that affect your stats uh, that you might not think about. So this hopefully helps you think about things in a different way. Um, this is also going to make you think differently. Um, these, uh, heroic feats, putting, uh, three in the middle in the first one, three in the bottom, and four out of five on the top, um, and none in the second row is, apparently it's actually a thing, so don't be afraid to not put any points in the second row, or column rather, um, I, I did test this build out quite a, quite a number of times, and it does seem to work very well. So if this scares you for whatever reason, um, like you, you're used to taking armor specialization or distracting shield, um, just try it. Just give give this one a whirl, just just to see what it what it does for you. Um, obviously this one, and then obviously this one. Ubiquitous shield is a big deal. I always always take ubiquitous shield. Since a lot of you, you know, you'll fight other GFs or like, uh, you know, people who use combat advantage, TRs, whatever, whatever. This reduces the amount of that damage by 25%, which can add up to be a lot. Um, for this, this build is uh, more focused around higher action point gain. So between this action points 
And this action points, if you get low on health, you'll be get you'll be throwing dailies out left and right. So top, 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 bottom, top, and then over here. Um, you know, you don't have. I don't need to explain all these. Um, this, this, and this. These are, you know, pretty uh, pretty normal. Okay, let's go into boons. Okay, obviously armor pen defense so check this out this is something also important um my power is thirty four thousand three hundred and eighty five right now right with my defense boon if i switch to hp my power goes down you see that that right there just from using the defense boon gives me that much extra power because of this assassin's covenant this is always working in your favor guys always working in your favor uh, okay, so let's go through here. You can uh, you can use healing potions, um, which is good for PvP for sure. Um, obviously, the armor pen. Uh, okay, movement speed. I chose movement speed just because uh, this build does not seem to have any problem with DPS. Just having a little bit of extra movement is is you know. It's the difference between getting off your daily after you bull charge somebody or not getting off your daily, which can be the difference between one rotating them, you know what I mean? So just grabbing some movement speed wherever you can here and there works well. Um, this one, whenever somebody hits you, gets you power. Obviously that one down there. So here we go, power, deflect, HP. Uh, Elven Tranquility instead of Elven Furiosity. This is the healing one instead of the damage one. And then the stamina gain. Power, movement, lifesteal. Remember, uh, you know, you could choose between lifesteal and regen. And since, you know, I don't have any, any lifesteal, you might be thinking, well, why the hell would you choose that? You gotta remember, this is taking away lifesteal and converting it into power. So by me choosing this, effectively, a percentage of this is going to be turn into power so um you know you might be seeing life steal but i'm seeing power so uh resistance ignored um that's just pretty much you know that's just like having more armor pen um you can either choose deflect chance or resistance ignored i, I don't know that's kind of personal preference i like the resistance ignored because um it's just I, I don't need more deflect to be honest and resistance ignored is always going to work whenever you hit somebody as in uh, deflect chance, you have a chance for this to work. So there's a chance this boon will help you, but this one will always help you. Uh, enraged regrowth. This one is, you know, the healing version of this one. This build is more focused on heals. Um, this one where you uh, have a chance to get a shield. Combat advantage bonus, that's very important. Incoming healing bonus. Uh, that adds up recovery uh cold shoulder and uh winter's bounty since you know if you if you copy my build exactly you'll be able to kill people pretty easily so when you daily somebody if you daily them first and then blow your combo off on them and then you this procs too you get a large percentage of your ap back so you'll, you'll almost be able to daily the next person like right away uh, power hit points, great hit points, combat advantage, damage bonus is increased by 10%, that is a big deal. And stamina regen, and damage, these are kind of whatever. 400 power, 400 deflect, 400 armor pen, 400 regen, uh, instead of the, the lifesteal rating, I chose the regen just because I, I wanted a little bit of regen. You can choose a lifesteal if you would like. Uh, in, uh, so this is this is a big deal here. One point in each. Because if I use one point here, one point here, one point here, that's 10 plus 5 plus 10. That's 25 points, right? Or 25 percentage of whatever, of different stats. It's separated by three different stats, but it adds up to 25%. If I put all three points in to this one boon i only get a maximum of 15 percent so i will get more for putting one point in three different tunes i mean uh three different boons uh, okay incoming healing combat advantage stamina regen 
uh, and the shield when I am below a percentage of HP. This is more of a tanky built uh, character or build. Uh, power, HP, regen HP, recovery HP, and uh, more recovery. Um, there are things that when you, you know when you go into combat, things are going to boost your recovery. Uh, control resistance, incoming healing bonus, icy wrath because um, you might want to choose the icy uh, chill determination and then the other boon that gives you power depending on how much stamina or guard you are missing. If you run this build, your stamina or your guard's not going to go down like much at all. So using these boons is kind of useless because you're not going to get much stat out of them. So this will guaranteed uh, give me damage. Um, well, when it when it uh, procs, but this is definitely you know you, you'll always get something from this. Um, but it's just always going to be just a small amount. Even though 2,000, you know, we might be thinking 2,000 damage, that's not a big deal, but when you run a few of these things, it, you know, it adds up. I mean, that could be the difference between uh, killing somebody or not killing somebody, you know what I mean? Uh, max HP instead of uh, this one, because the, the HP, I just, I like the HP better. 3,200 HP is kind of a, you know, that's a decent amount. Uh, okay, so this is another instance where... You, know, you put one point in three different boons. You don't need me to explain those. In case I'm getting annoying. 500 recovery. And 2% incoming healing bonus. I'm getting pretty close to getting the third one here. Let's see which one I'm going to choose in case you have it. Uh, this one. The top one. Stuns enemies up to five uh, enemies within 24 feet for four seconds. That's a big deal. And here's another instance where putting one, uh, one point in three different is important. I don't know if you noticed this, guys, um, but the regeneration one gives you 1,200 max hit points on the first point. This one only gives 800. This one only gives 800, and this one only gives 800. This one gives 1,200. So that makes this one always better, just for the HP. Just for the HP, that's that's better. And that's all of those. So let's go through powers. Oh, let's go through this really quick. Threatening rush for your main hand class feature. And uh, combat advantage here and shield talent is very important. You use shield talent along with shield warrior's wrath. Uh, just trust me. Obviously, you know, you got your Hulk Smash and your Daily, and you got Threatening Rush and um, Crushing Surge. Um, you know, that's this is pretty self-explanatory. Into the Fray, Bull Charge, Griffins. It's not really a whole lot else I need to say about that. So give this, give this a try. Just, just try this build. I have, I have had much success with this build.